Now that we made it down with Hilda's hand control, the area has been actually fairly easy from this point forward. I've taken this quite a few times, but again, always check your surroundings and always make sure that if you, wherever you may be, you make sure that your terrain, you are capable of handling it. In this instance, we're going to continue on with the regular four-wheel drive that automatically engages. I'm going to stay below 20 miles an hour because from here is gravel and leaves. So the system should pick up on that and not disengage it. And we can take a nice easy drive around the bend and up through the rest of the trail. And it's as simple as that. Just keep it going and keep it steady. As it deems it needs it, it will stay active. I'm only going five miles an hour. So four wheel drive is still working across the dashboard. Front and back are still engaged. And again, I digress. Please remember to check your surroundings and know the areas that you're going. And if you're out doing stuff like this, Always make sure that you tell someone where you're going and when you do expect to maybe be back within a given amount of time. Because out here, if you don't know what's going on, something may happen and someone needs to come looking for you if you can't get the help. But since we're in a local park area and we have the ability to do this and I came well prepared, we'll be fine on this video. And it's just an easy ride up. The rocks are extremely minimal. And it'll bring us right back up to our starting point from where we entered before hill descent. Up over the crest we go. And that is our active four-wheel drive in auto mode without messing with anything else.